All right, what's up everybody? So before I do this, I do want to say this one thing is that if you are a saxophone player and you are serious about learning altissimo, it is a really good idea that you watch a lot of trumpet high note videos to understand what's going on physiologically with the human body in a relationship to being able to play these high notes that really are out of the range of our familiarity with our instrument. We can play with almost 100% certainty that when we finger a note, we're gonna get the note that is supposed to come out. They don't really have that. <laughs> All right, so what is it that they have to do in order to have that type of reliability in the altissimo range on their instrument? All right, so let's get to it. Okay, I wanna finger this saxophone the way a trumpet player would finger their instrument. Now, I don't mean the actual fingerings themselves, but I just mean using only the one, two, and three in order to play this uh, F major scale in the altissimo register. Uh, this is going to be from the fourth F to the fifth octave F. Uh, let's, let's do it. In fact, I'll take my right hand and just hold the bell here. <laughs> So let me show you the fingering that I use to do that, which is split G. Normally I talk about a split F. Split, in my terminology, means basically just F, but with the two finger up. So split means whatever fingering with the two finger up. But I'm only using the left hand, so I'm using a split G. This is kind of unstable, but just one and three to play altissimo F. Two and three, I call this a vented G to play G, one to play A, two to play B flat, one to play C, two and three to play D, one and two to play E, and one to play F. Okay, so being able to really play the overtones of those same fingerings is really the heart and soul of what it means to be able to play any kind of wind instrument because we don't have enough fingers in order to build an instrument where each note would only be able to produce one note. Being able to produce these overtones gives us a lot more options for any one particular fingering. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to show you guys that I've been working on a lot of stuff recently, practicing and really just trying to fine tune and accelerate my altissimo playing. I'm also working on an articulation video so that's going to be coming up pretty soon. All right, ladies and gentlemen, see ya!